Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 in Germany. I'm your host, Desert Fox, and we are sitting outside of what we just finished last episode, uh, episode 8. This, we're going to call this episode 8.5 because we're actually going to do something real quick here in that same area. Uh, and it's not play with the smoothing gun. Um, so, once I got every, all the trains in here, I, it's what I was kind of sitting here watching between uh, episodes, and I also record these on two separate days. Uh, so I log, I got the map loaded up, and I just let it run for a little while, and uh, game's pause, just kind of generating money as always, and uh, it ran for about uh, took a, it took about an hour to get the train, uh, the actual trains onto the proper segment of the line uh, for these little branch line uh, st point to point lines, and then I cranked up the volume of trucks to 35. This is the most amount of trucks I've ever had on a single line. Uh, before in Transport Fever 2, and it's still not enough to fill this up. Also, I did double head this and had to change something because I realized when uh, at the end of episode 8 that I didn't put uh, wagons on the or uh, boxcars on the back of this uh, train to take this milk from the dairy farm down here uh, as a to this platform to get picked up by this train where it actually needs to get taken here. So instead of having two trains or three trains run there, I just have the two that run it properly. Just you with four cars each, so it makes eight cars worth, uh, effectively. With uh, 20 cars worth of grain going to these two, so it should be 10 cars per, at least, in, in theory, you know, in Mad Man's theory. So the problem is, we are not doing enough grain getting over there. So we're gonna do a quick episode, and we're gonna bomb. We're gonna pause game. We are gonna not bomb. We're gonna grab the line, manage vehicles, the whole lot of you. Get sold. Now we're gonna go over to the line manager, and we are gonna bye bye line. And then I'm just gonna boom. Yep, it never existed. It was. It just wasn't enough. Now with that being said, I now have to figure out what to do. The replacement. And I think the replacement is going to be a train track, obviously. And I'm not really certain. Uh, can I edit this? Can I take that off? Yes, I can. Cargo building. Alright. Should just be connected like that. I will take it. Now, because they come in on that line, we will take this line. Oh boy. We will just kind of come out like that a little bit. Give it a little breathing space. Try to keep it above 50. reason I'm trying to keep it above 50 it's kind of it's twofold just keeps the speed up looking to keep decent speed uh, on these lines and I also I don't know just just seems like a decent speed for a freight train to be able to keep up if you can't keep 50 miles an hour then why are you running All right, um, yeah that's an approach vector that's not gonna work but fine just accordingly. Alright, now it's also kind of hideous, but that's okay. I'll deal with it later. Alright, and now the this train. Will I run two of them? And do I break <coughs> do I break my own rule and run? Uh, a new depot over here for the simple. Yeah, you know what? Just to get it bedded in real quick, I think I will just run a depot of my own accord. And we'll just do it right off the back of that. Like somewhere right there. So the first train has something to load onto it. Uh, and then we'll get rid of it. Line. 
it was that color again. That is okay. Now we're gonna call this the Tubingen. Tubingen. Oh, no, I thought there was an L there. There's not an L there. It's just an I. Tubingen. Also, I don't know how to do the umlaus over the U. I'm typing it in transport favor. I, I, I don't know how to do that. Um, but if someone down in the comments knows, uh, just let me know. And I will uh, start adding them. Uh, what do we want to call this? Tubingen. Grain. Speedy? I don't think speedy matters. I think we need power. Yeah, we need power. 1360 power attractive effort. So we want to look for something that has decent. So what I'm going for here is a, uh, uh, something about 50 or higher in terms of speed. I want something that has enough power. So we gotta have something that's like that. And we're looking for we're trying to balance out the attractive effort in case we have because we're going up a hill and down a hill, so that's where the attractive attractive effort comes into play. Um, we've been running the Atlantics on the flatter surface over there uh, near Berlin. These are actually made, I think, for the mountains. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Coffee. Um, these are pretty good freight haulers, right? You know, you can see by the attractive effort numbers. Uh, these I think are made for light rail hauling and like something like mm, where is that yeah like that but it's you know what mm, see really between that and that uh, uh, we can take a look just see uh, we'll do boom do we do one? Do two. Double headed do twenty. And then what? We're doing gondolas. Yeah, that's gondolas. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh wait, I'm no, 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 no. We're gonna do this in German. Ein, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn, elf, zwölf, dreizehn, vierzehn, fünfzehn, sechzehn, siebzehn, achtzehn, neunzehn, zwanzig. And do we buy one? Do we buy two? We'll start this with one. That's 52 million quid. I mean, we're at 3.4 billion, so it doesn't matter at this point. It's kind of busted. But. And then. Yeah. Go. Let's ride the new line. Well, we'll get rid of the uh, depot first. Awesome. Then it's gonna help out tremendously because it's just gonna help move a greater volume of freight down the line a lot faster, I think. Um, if anything, this series has proven that trains still, no matter how many trucks you throw at something, just because of the volume of traffic you will eventually face, I think this has still proven that trains are, in my opinion, still the most effective means of mass transportation in terms of goods and products and services some say trucking companies you know aren't worth their make they are they're valuable in their own right trains can't go on roads so but i obviously understand it it's 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 a they're it's like a teamwork relationship between the two. Oh, do you want out of the room no you just want to be an attention you just want to be an attention huh okay kitty Right. But besides that, how many are going to load up here on the first load? Oh man. Uh, 405. Let's go. I think we're going to have to get some smoothing gun action out here. Yeah, look at that. That is a horrendous, horrendous level crossing. Okay, okay, I'll let you out. Excuse me, guys, for just one second. We are 
Terror sitting back here. Ooh, what the hell? Wow, that's gonna need some serious moving gun. Can I page up? No, I can't. Hmm. Oh, wow, I've never been able to do that before. Oh, that's pretty, that's splendid. Look at this. Ooh, now let's exit out because we're about to make some money. <coughs> you friend, why are you going away? All right, fine, you can go away. He made what? What is that? 3.48 million? Nice. Very nice. That's uh, that's that's, that's the kind of money we want to see. Uh, it's definitely effective. It's, it's it's. I think this is gonna pay off tremendously because half of this is probably gonna go to the dairy farm, and the other half is just gonna load onto the station. So you had 275 load onto the station there. So you know what? All right, the risk of oh, frick fracky. Boom. All right. You know what? It can take forever. I don't care. It, it can it can come from all the way from Berlin Central Station or Central Plaza. But to finish this episode off, this little quick run, we are gonna smooth that out. Try to. make that look and feel so horrendous. We don't want to look like a railroad just came plowing through here with the strength and speed of a god. Because I don't think that's realistic. Though, and I think in all fairness, I'm, that's probably fairly realistic. It's still, what, 1901? Yeah, railroads had, I think, almost unlimited power still at this point in railroad history. But that's okay. Well, see, we are set here for double, for two trains. But do we have the volume? Maybe. 300 and... Oh, wow, that's a full train. Does he have the strength to get up there? No, he actually doesn't. So that's gonna. So when we uh, when we get some other bigger trains, we're gonna have to upgrade that. So even with an A35 with a good tractive uh, effort, you know, but I think the two of them combined is almost like seventy-one thousand pounds of tractive effort. Um. Yeah, that's uh, go because we're going up a hill here. I'll just show you contour lines. I don't know how steep that gradient is, but. We start way the, f yeah, man, yeah, that's, that's a little bit of a climb. I have seen a lot, uh, uh, I guess, uh, bigger, I guess, gradients. But either way, uh, that has actually been this episode, you guys. So enjoy the time we uh, had together today. And uh, in the next episode, we will probably do what I wanted to do here with that passenger line. We'll run uh, the Berlin, one of the Berlin lines out here to, to Blinken itself and uh, start, you know, future, uh, future planning up here and getting, thinking about Fraulberg and Kirchen and uh, Herrigen, Helm, um, and uh, Linf, uh, Lederfeld. Vorbis, I think is how you pronounce that. Um, I think eventually cars will be needed in one of these cities, in some of these cities, but I'm not entirely sure. Wow, actually, the fact that these are making it down the line is rather impressive. Also, next episode, we are going to need to add some more bus lines and tram lines, so that's going to be exciting, and we're going to need to be changing out some of this road network in Berlin because traffic is horrendous. I mean, these trucks are literally not moving. It's it's pretty bad. This is not good. I we're not making any money and goods aren't moving. But somehow the city is getting almost all of its goods. Also, we need to get uh what is that? Just regular goods made. 
somewhere somehow because we require somewhere to the tune of what is that 600 in Berlin alone so we have some serious profitability there so I will figure out what to do there uh, whether we run something from across the map as the goods to see if we have something down here because think about it we haven't even started down here at this end of the map also just giving you guys a warning uh, running three speed when I first started the map uh, today it stuttered just a hair just like the way it did where it was like kind of jittery where it would almost like cut and then run a couple frames cut run a couple frames cut yeah we got it we got something to be careful for um, but I think I have a way of getting Allendorf started and I think we're gonna start with those goods so that could be a future episode but we are not going to touch anything down here until about episode 10, after episode 10. I promised, I, I told myself I wouldn't touch it until episode 10 or after. So we're going to work our way up here to the other side of the river. Just gradual expansion. I just I, I want it to feel real. Uh, and I think we're going to do something daring and actually run a passenger line and get that framed out uh, in one giant, maybe two-part episode like this where I do all the stations in one and get all the uh, <clears throat> all of the uh, inner city stuff set up and then the other part of the episode I lay all the tracks and design all the lines and then I do train and vehicle assignments on that episode as well so that will also that'll be yeah that's that's probably uh, a nice little game plan and we'll probably eventually do the <laughs> the silver ore mine in uh, to the Niederstetten thing, this little route here, this little freight route, and uh, this station to, well, effectively this steel mill, and then run a, lo uh, a little shunter between the two. I'm just waiting for more trains to be unlocked, really, and just trying to come up with more stuff uh, in the meantime. But until then, uh, let's just check out one last time. This station's actually got a decent amount of some stuff. That station's got some stuff. Yeah, everything's working down. It's trickling down just the way I thought it would. That is pretty awesome. So until next time, guys, I've been your host, Desert Fox. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.